pay, you pay Frank enough money, he gets loud. He sounds like a dozen people out there. I want to welcome to the stage first of all, all my good friend Denny Farrar, and, and, and Denny, it's always a pleasure to have you here. You, you've worked so hard over and, and had a reason to work too, and we're going to get into that. But uh, I saw a need out there. I guess the biggest thing that you saw, because you you got involved, you had to get involved. Uh, you know, didn't have to, but it was kind of a God's way of saying, I think I need you involved, because He actually put you through this, and with one of your young daughters when she was very young, it was diagnosed with leukemia. Yeah. And uh, three and a half. Yeah. So then you went out and you said, well, we're going to battle this, and there's a, we're going to battle it as a family. And we did. Yeah, and, and battled through it. And thank God, knock on wood, she's in very good health today. Yep. Started her first year in high school this year. Knock on wood, she started at St. George's Technical High School. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. And she's in about 20 minutes going to be playing a JV field hockey team. Yeah, which, with, uh, you know, at three years old, you guys never dreamed you'd see that day. No. Yeah. I remember when, it's, when it was her fourth, fourth birthday, and I just cried and cried because I honestly didn't know if that would be her last birthday that she got to celebrate. Right. And uh, what a very lovely young lady she's turned into be. And, and, Thank and, you. And, uh, and, and, and all the kids. But you got the whole family involved, but you knew you had to step up and do more. And you kind of got it as, as saying, is this my calling? And, uh, you know, there's got to be more. We got to stop this. Absolutely. You know? And uh, of course, got involved with the uh, Leukemia uh, Foundation. Or Leukemia and Lymphoma Society originally. Yeah, and, and still on the board. On, on still uh, serve on the board. Serve on their national board. Yeah. Help, help from afar. I'm not as in the trenches as I was. Well, in the well you're, you're more in the trenches with what you created, which I, I think is uh, something that, you know, when you look at all the different ways of giving money and people do, I mean, there's so many, everybody needs money today, do this, do that. I love what you guys have set up, and that's the Leukemia Research Foundation. When I say that, there is no paid employees. You're not paid. No. Thank God you got Nick behind you. Absolutely. So, yeah, but you're not paid. You've got a whole list of people that are not paid that, that, that assist you and work dig digitally on putting together different things throughout the year. Absolutely. But the monies you may raise, I want people to understand this is very important. All the dollars that you raise go nowhere but to one place, and that's the research for the leukemia the, Absolutely. The cure. Absolutely, to yeah. find a cure for leukemia. We have in this past year, and I don't know if you even know, you do know this yeah, because you yeah. were at our gala. We pledged a million dollars to the St. Jude Children's mm. Research Hospital in Memphis because they are making humongous strides in uh, finding cures for these deadly diseases. Um, we've done a grant mm. over at the Helen F. Graham Cancer Center, and we're, we're hoping to do something here soon with AI DuPont Institute. But it's all about helping to find a cure and to find better forms of treatment while we're working towards the cure so that the children and the adults that are being treated aren't... Um, they're not suffering and while they're going through so much. Getting the early di diagnosis and stuff like that, finding out what's causing this and, and everything. As, yeah, as we were just talking, and my wife hates for me to talk about her, but she's facing some, and, and it's, and it's blood-related diseases. Yeah. And, 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 and it all falls to, yep. and can turn to leukemia and things like that. But yeah. it's, a, it's, it's battling the blood, blood diseases and Absolutely. stuff like that. And I was amazed at the little bit of research I've done so far, at the strides they've made in the last three years is just phenomenal. It is and, phenomenal. I mean, we're not far from maybe saying we can wipe this clean off the face of this earth you know well, we hope so. yeah and but but it takes your giving out there and everything else but you can't just say hey give me money and and people just send you money so you have no. to uh, come up with ways to say okay well let's do something absolutely to get them to give us let's money make it fun <laughs> for them and let's let's really get people to come out and have a good time but while they're having a good time knowing that it's going towards a great cause yeah, and that's where we're going to introduce over on the far over here, and, and your good friend Mike uh, uh, Mayhew, is that correct, Mike? Yes. And, and Mike has got a, a unique thing. Now, you look like a jogger. You look like the type of, were you a regular jogger? Just I enjoy out? jogging. Yes. Yeah, yeah, getting out there. And I, that's something I never found a, a, a love to just get out and do is just run, you know. I, I, I think of the Forrest Gump movie, you know, exactly. I'm just going to go out for a run and run for three years. But a, a big sport here in America, a lot of people do it. You guys have taken jogging to... Now, I'm thinking to myself, maybe I need to start jogging because this is, this is not just jogging. It's a lot of fun. What do we got going on? It is a uh, 5K race, 3.1 miles. It is a obstacle course related. You have your wall climbs, a few other things, some mud, 
I like um, the mud and the girls. I mean, that's just my personal <laughs> thing. <though. laughs> uh, but it, it's, but it's, it, it seems like, because oh, it's not just running. It, it, I mean, you talk about climbing walls. Then I actually see people on their hands and knees and crawling on their yes. bellies and yes. getting under. Uh, off, you know, it's like a, mili a, a military, from the mili a military yes. obstacle yes. course. Lots and lots of fun. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's, and, it's and, it's, and, and it's teams? Teams, yes. Uh, individuals as well, but it's teams pretty much. Yeah, now how, how does somebody go about getting involved? I know, and I got to say congratulations to the folks here in this state because I understand you've already registered close to 200 teams. Uh, 200. 200 teams, and they are teams of four, so we're looking at almost a thousand participants, and we still have 10 days before the event. Yeah, yeah. So, so we can get to 2,000. Of course, can handle it. You guys. Uh, yes. the, the nice thing about it is because you're holding it out of Frightland. Yes. And everybody knows where Frightland is. Huge piece of property out there. So out in the back, and running through the cornfields and all that. Now, not, no spooks jumping out at you at the time, but uh, well, you might have a few of them. Tim, against, uh, I can't guarantee that. <laughs> I really can't. I'd love to say I could. But it's in October. You got to remember. That's right, and it's yeah. at Frightland, so you know, got to take your chances a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. So there, there's going to be a lot. It, it is going to be a fun day. We're going to be out there with television cameras catching people coming through and everything. But it's a, uh, you know, you mentioned, you know, we know they're going to go through the mud. You know, they're going to go over a wall. Some of the other things that they can look to face. Uh, some Gob gooses and goblins and all uh, that. There's not little, so much. Yeah, that's. There is you, a you mud are, pit. Let me just say ahead. there is a huge mud pit at the end of the race. It is called the Valero Mud Pit because Valero has come on as our presenting sponsor for this event, and we thank them very much. Um, it's a huge mud pit, and at some point, to get to the finish line, you have to get into that mud pit, find your way in, and find your way out. It's a th thick mud pit, too, I understand. Oh, it's a thick mud pit. <laughs> Real it's, heavy duty. And it's duty. team of fours. So yeah. um, there's four people. It's not a relay. You start together, you finish together, and you help each other through it. So it's really a positive team-building it, experience. And it's fun. I've, I've seen, because this is something that's hitting the country. It's sweeping the nation right now. Mm -hmm. This is the first one we're having in Delaware, first one of yeah. the many annual ones that we are going to be having. Because because we got the perfect area to have it in and everything. And it just seems like it, it's, to me now, going out versus just, well, I think I'll run down the road. Now, this is jogging. This is going out and doing something and having a lot of fun with it and, and, and bringing some friends. So to, to sign up, how do they go about getting? They would go on the website, which is www.delawaremudrun.com. DelawareMudRun.com. It's yes. that simple. Yes. So you definitely, if you want to get into that, but let's let's add to that because I got I got to thank uh, Frightland folks down there. They did it last year. I know when I was at the banquet the, and and they stepped up with a huge check, and they're looking at doing the same thing again this year because Frightland gets very involved with you guys, and they're kind enough to give proceeds because everybody Frightland starts this weekend, runs every weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Don't take the kids out. You're too young to go at nighttime, but you can <laughs> definitely go out there during the daytime for the young ones, hay rides and all that kind of Absolutely. stuff. But at nighttime, that uh, uh, Travel Channel rated it one of the top 10 scariest places in the nation this past, past year. And they've added to it. Frank's going this Friday because we've got some of the old stuff down and added some, showing some of the new attractions down there. But if you want to be, have the best time for Halloween, what it's all about is head down to Frightland and the parking proceeds will be going straight back to... Absolutely. Leukemia Research Foundation of Delaware. We have Phil Miller and my husband Nick to thank for Frightland. They've been huge sponsors of the foundation from day one. Yeah, and, and, and of course, thank you so much for going down and supporting it. We'll give you a lot more on that. We've got the show running. Be sure and check out the show. It's a special running right now telling you about Frightland. Remember the parking proceeds help go to finding a cure for leukemia real quick. Ava, what song are you going to sing? She said, "There's no way I'm not knew I get it up here." <laughs> you can say hi. Do you want to say hi to somebody? Say hi, Dad, can you or say something. Hi, hi to you can say hi, Dad. Into the camera. Hurry up. That's it. I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> Promise you four good-looking girls. There's two of them there. We've had Britain. we got one more to come. So you don't want to go anywhere. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tim. Website's on the bottom of the screen. Get in touch with them. Support the Leuke research. Leukemia Research Foundation of Delaware. Tim, we have a shirt for you to wear. We'd like God to right. show I'm, it I'm wear that proudly. I, I will. I'm going to wear it that day. I'm going to be I'm at the, the main mud hole if you're looking for me when you're coming through. I'll help you get out. So we'll see you yeah, man. Stay with us. Be right back for more. Thank you. Find out more about the Tim Crawl Show and other positive promotion productions. Then log on to our website at www.pazprotv.com.